A century ago, brave soldiers from across the globe proved themselves in combat through selfless acts of valor, fighting to bring an end to what was then known as the Great War. And of all the noble warriors who met history's challenge on this field of battle, none distinguished themselves more than the men of the 80th Division. The 80th was first organized in the National Army on August 5, 1917 as Headquarters 80th Infantry Division. And the man who would later coin the motto, Only Moves Forward, Major General Adelbert Cronkite, was named the division's first commander. Largely composed of men from the Blue Ridge states of Virginia, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, the 80th was nicknamed the Blue Ridge Division and has for its distinctive shoulder insignia a shield outlined in white with three blue mountain peaks, representing the Blue Ridge Mountains of those three states. The division also adopted the Latin motto which translates to Strength of the Mountains. Camp Lee was quickly constructed to serve as the training post for the young division. The men of the 80th trained at Camp Lee for nine months and reached their full strength of 23,000 soldiers before they sailed off for France. Led by Major General Cronkite, the men of the 80th landed in France at the beginning of June 1918, where they swiftly set up headquarters and began to train at Amacourt Chateau. By mid-August, they had completed training with the British Third Army and joined the forces on the front lines where the Division of Unique Distinction took part in the Somme, saint Mael, and Meuse-Argonne offensives. In the months that followed, the 80th would go on to earn a reputation for never failing to achieve its mission. The 80th Division distinguished itself in every battle repulsing enemy raids and helping liberate French cities from enemy control. But the division's greatest World War I accomplishment came during the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. The plan was for Allied forces to cut the vital German supply line and capture the railway hub at Sedan, destroying the railway network supporting the German army in France and Flanders, and breaking the back of the Kaiser's army to force the enemy to retreat from the occupied territories. Split into three separate phases, the Meuse-Argonne Offensive was the largest operation and victory for the American Expeditionary Forces in World War I, involving over 1.2 million U.S. troops stretching across the Western Front. It also stands as the deadliest battle in American history. but its success helped win the war for the U.S. and its allies. Of all the American Expeditionary Forces divisions, the 80th was the only one that saw action in all three phases of the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. Three times the 80th was called upon. Three times the 80th met its objective. Their artillery boasted more days of continuous combat firing than the batteries of any other American division. And the 80th captured more prisoners, munitions, and stores with fewer casualties than any of the divisions engaged. They often bragged that for every one man wounded, the 80th captured two Germans and a machine gun. By early November, the Blue Ridge infantrymen had helped shatter the German defenses and on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, the guns fell silent. An armistice was signed, and the Great War was ended.
The 80th remained in Flanders in France, conducting post-armistice training and accepting many honors for its part in the war effort. For their valor and bravery, the men of the 80th Division received 619 awards and decorations. Major General Cronkite earned the Army Distinguished Service Medal for his command of the 80th during the Meuse-Argonne Offensive. The 80th was also recognized by its allied partners, and Major General Cronkite was named as the commander of the Legion of Honor by the French Navy. President Woodrow Wilson sailed to France and viewed the 80th Division, along with other division troops, on Christmas Day, 1918. At the war's end, the Blue Ridge Division was rated first of all National Army divisions by the U.S. War Department. The men of the Blue Ridge had demonstrated the strength of the mountains, earning their place in history. As Major General Cronkite wrote in General Order No. 19, the 80th Division only moves forward. It not only moves forward against the enemy, but it moves forward in the estimation of all who are capable of judging its courage, its fighting, and its quality. Today, that proud legacy lives on as part of the 80th Training Command. Steeped in history and a tradition of excellence a century old, the men and women of the 80th stand ready to face every new challenge, looking ahead to future victories while still drawing inspiration from their past. And like the motto echoed for 100 years, these warriors continue to ensure that the 80th only moves forward.